Hi Brett, Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 23rd through the 30th. This is for the end of April. This is for the sign of Libra. Generally my readings are love readings but we're just going to see whatever comes up this time. This is for the sign of Libra. I'm using a different deck than I used for the other ones because this one was calling my name so... This is what I'm doing. I tend to follow my intuition pretty well. This is for the sign of Libra. Keep in mind that it is Saturn retrograde from the April 17th to September 3rd. This is about karma. Okay. So, you know, it is what it is, right? So, it's, you know, just beware. It's, it's a season of karma. If you've done bad things, then you can expect payback. If you've done good things, then you can expect rewards. Okay, so. Libra, end of April. It looks to me like you guys are really focused on whatever you're doing. You you know exactly what you want. There's clarity. You're you're very very concentrated right now. Concentrated on the goal. Um, there could be a lack of happiness in some arena. You may be scared of losing something. Oh, yeah, you guys really need to keep the focus. If you've lost any focus, it is absolutely a time of focus this week. Try to keep yourself, you know, keep your, your mind right. Just do the best that you can to stay focused and in line with what you want in the future with your goals, okay? This right here, there's some blockages, okay? There's something standing in the way of achieving your goals, could be in regards to a relationship. Something is standing in the way. Now this can signify that someone has become lazy and complacent. So don't, don't quit. That's what I'm here to tell you not to quit. Don't give up on a situation. It's what, this is why this one came out first. Remain focused. Don't give up on something yeah you may need to go back in and refocus somebody has lost their focus and that's why this came out is really I mean this is a week of focus you really do not give up on the goal somebody may be feeling rejected so they're on the verge of giving up Yes, they are. Somebody's giving up. You're giving up on a situation. Accepting the truth, perhaps. Somebody is seeing the truth. They've been lied to. You know, maybe it's time to focus on yourself. Focus on your own self-worth, your own self-confidence, and your self-esteem. That could be the case. Maybe it's time to give up on a situation that isn't fruitful, and it's time to refocus on yourself so that you can become emotionally available for love or a new situation. It feels like there's some sort of midlife crisis here. There's been some sort of rejection, and perhaps now you are truly giving up on whoever it is that rejected you. And maybe you're enjoying life right now. You're being called to just really, really enjoy your singlehood. Embrace it. There is a feeling of abundance and prosperity here if you want it. Yeah, some some of you are beginning to realize the truth of a situation. I think you have 
a new idea, okay? You look at this, we have the Three of Cups right here. It's the Five of Cups, but I just covered up the Two of Cups, all right? So here we have the Three of Cups. I feel like there could have been a third-party situation or there could have been some unhappiness in a situation that has pro that maybe you're releasing it. Maybe you're letting go of the disappointment. You're letting go of the despair. You're letting go of the hurt. You're letting go of the third-party situation. Perhaps that's what it is. That's what you're giving up on. And as you give up on it, you make yourself emotionally available by working on your self-worth and your self-esteem and working on yourself you now bring in the two of cups. So it feels as though there is a possibility for a new connection. But you are being called to not lose your focus on the future. Don't let the past hold you back. Mm. Don't give up on the future. Because of the past hurts. Because of the past breakdowns that you've been through. It feels as though some of you are becoming emotionally available after a disappointment. You found that self-worth and that self-love again. And you're calling in that two of cups energy, that love. That's what it looks like. So it really feels like you guys are really doing well. You're accepting the reality. You're seeing things clearly. That's what it looks like to me. And I think that you've given up on a dead-end situation. And now you're becoming emotionally available to something new because you love yourself again. You're ready. You've, done a, you've released. You have. You've released something. You're probably feeling very proud of your accomplishments, and you should. You should. You've, you've really taken the lead. There's that Three of Cups I was telling you about right here. There's, it's the end of a difficult situation. That's what's going on. You've had enough power struggles. You've been struggling going back and forth with what to do next. But I think that you're accepting the truth. The truth has come out. You know. It's no longer a secret. It's not. With the, with the moon card and the seven of swords both reversed. The secret has come out. The truth has been revealed and you can't deny it anymore. I feel like there could have been a third party situation. And you're removing yourself from the situation. I think you are. I think you're walking away from it. You're totally leaving it behind. And investing your energy elsewhere. I feel like you've come to the conclusion that there was no forward movement. And you probably went through a period of loss of direction. Or you're going through that now. Somebody had lost their direction. And I feel like now they are turning their back on the deceit and the lies, accepting the truth and deciding to plant their seeds elsewhere. It feels like you have somebody has come to the conclusion that there was no victory and success in one situation. So they're deciding to they've decided that it was unrealistic and dissatisfying and I'm, I have to move on. This is unrealistic. There's been a lot of criticism. Okay. There has. I think whoever you were dealing with was very, very critical of you. There was. I mean, these are both criticism. Somebody was very critical. They, they misjudged you. They hurt you. Okay, with these two cards reversed. It feels like you were very, you know, you may have felt like, you are being attacked by somebody at some time. And maybe that's why you've had your guard up.
There's definitely some unfair treatment here. You've been treated unfairly, Libra. You have. And I think you've come to that conclusion that I deserve more. And I think there's, there's been a lack of respect. You were dealing with somebody who didn't respect you. And I feel like now is the time where you regain your focus. If Seriously, you regain your focus. You let that go. And you turn your back. But this chariot card is, is not moving forward. Not moving forward with whoever it is that you were dealing with that didn't respect you. I think that's what it is. I think that you have come to the conclusion that you deserve more. Because this nine of pentacles is somebody who knows her worth. His or her worth. I know what I'm worth and I'm going to walk away from this situation where you don't see my worth. There's no forward movement with one situation. So I think that you guys leave that behind. And you call in the two of cups energy. You call in the person that you are meant to be with. You make yourself emotionally available. There is. There's a new offer of love coming in for you, Libra. Because you've, got, you've made yourself available. You're no, no longer going to let this person harm you. And hold you back. You've made the clear decision to move on. It feels as though you've let go of the fear. And now you're just patiently waiting, because this is no rush. You're patiently waiting for this new love to come in. And this new love is coming in. You've made the decision to let them in. That's what it looks like to me. And that is justice, isn't it? It's justice being served. You receiving the love that you deserve is your justice. I believe that you guys have done the right thing. You're bringing balance back to your life. Your intuition has guided you to let something go. You're seeing things absolutely clearly and you're calling in your soulmate. And I don't even need the card to see it. Love is here for you, Libra. There's an opportunity for a new beginning in love. And it's being given to you from above. So I feel like this is a wonderful end of April for you guys. It's something that you deserve. It's something that... will balance out your life and it's part of the it's part of the script okay it's meant to be whatever is happening at the end of this month is divinely guided there's 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 love here and it leads to a commitment it leads to happiness Leads to contentment. So Libra, I feel like you guys are giving up on a situation that was unfruitful. You have given up. You've regained your focus. You've taken the lead. And, be, and you're feeling a lot of self-respect and self-esteem and self-confidence and self-worth. And as you feel that, it brings balance and your soulmate into your life. That's what it looks like to me. Interesting. Look at that Ace of Cups. For you. Ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences, which you have. You have learned and grown from your own past experiences. You are our legacy 
and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. You have gained wisdom through a past experience. And I think that you have embraced it. And now there's an opportunity for new love. So this is what I have, Libra. Talk to you later.